I'm listening to her, y'all wanna look at me. Which one y'all Anyway, hi my loves, it's your girl Shanties. Welcome back to With Love SB. It's been a minute, but we're back and we are on another travel vlog. Yay! As you can see, we are currently in the airport right now. We are in Miami at the moment, waiting on our connecting flight to our final destination, which is Curacao. Yeah. ABC Islands. Yes, so not a lot of people that I know have been there, so I can't wait to do this review. How are you feeling? ABC Islands, Dutch Islands. We're about to have some fun. I'm excited, you know what I'm saying? The weather's actually gonna be uh, nice. You know what I'm saying? They had a couple storms come through a little bit earlier, but hey, we're gonna see some sun and some fun. Yes, so if that is something that you're interested in watching, be sure to stay tuned. arrived to Curacao, we in process through customs, then headed downstairs to retrieve our luggage from baggage claim. Now, when you head outside, there are different modes of transportation that you can take. However, we were greeted by our sandals representative who escorted us to our airport shuttle, which is included in the price of your stay. All right, love, so we made it to Curacao safe and sound. It was a two hour flight from Miami and we're currently on the bus right now, just waiting to be transported to our resort. It's gonna take about 60 minutes to get there. Masks are actually optional at this point, but we elected to wear ours anyway, just because people still have cooties. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Why should tell me y'all mass option? I mean, everybody in the world knows that. Anyway, we're just gonna sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. See you there. National Flag and Anthem Day in Curacao is celebrated on July the 2nd, which just so happens to be the day that we arrived. So the flags were waving high and proud everywhere that we turned, right? The island of Curacao is officially a part of the Netherlands, however, has a separate identity and national flag that was adopted in 1984. And with the Royal Curacao being the newest establishment, we expected there to be a couple of hiccups along the way. We understood that the team is working very diligently to try to refine their services and get everything established. Once you arrive, you're greeted with fresh towels, which is very refreshing after that long bus ride. And if, you know, room permits, then you're able to enter into the lounge area by the name of Club Sandals. And you can sit back and wait for your rooms to become available. And you can, you know, munch on the little snacks that they have. Now, what I will tell you is that the check-in process did take a little longer than I anticipated. However, like I said, we're just trying to remain flexible and positive. Positive. We were just happy to be on holiday. Hello. Can I you some champagne? Yes, please. Yes. Thank you. There you go. What you see here is the main lobby area that looks out over the double infinity pool as well as the ocean. It's so beautiful. And when you enter, you instantly feel a great sense of peace. I just, I love the aesthetic. <laughs> also in this area is the main bar and they also have their nightly entertainment in this area as well. Now, because our room availability it took them a little longer, we did decide to head over to Concierge so that we can reserve our spots for dinner. There's two restaurants that requires reservations once you arrive and you decide to eat there. And then after that, we decide to go and get some lunch. So is this the Cures that room? Yes. Cures out. After lunch, our rooms still weren't available, so we met back up with our hostess, Simi. During this time, she gave us a tour of the property and she also gave us a history lesson about the island. Eventually. We were able to check into our room. Yay, finally! <laughs> now, we're staying in the Subi Premium Room and obviously, a lot of people had that eye set on this resort since it's grand opening just a couple of weeks back. And I say this because all the other room tights and suites were completely booked during the entire duration of our stay. Nevertheless, this room was very cozy and comfortable and I actually really liked it. Come on, I'll show you around. 
Our building had a total of four stories and our room was located on the second floor. As you can see, this is our private balcony area that looked out onto the rest of the property. It was absolutely beautiful, amazing views, and we were able to catch the sunset on most evenings. Located below us is the private swim out pool area for the rooms located on the first floor. And while it would have been great to have that, we were able to have a lot of fun in the sun at the double infinity pools. As you may or may not know, Everything at Sandals is all inclusive, excluding excursions, of course. So what I'm showing you now is the mini fridge that's stocked with juices, sodas, bottles of wine, as well as beer that you can drink to your liking, all free of charge. Next up, we have our closet that comes with two robes, but do not take those home because those aren't free. And then you also have a safe to store your valuables. In the bathroom, you'll see the you know toilet area. And of course, it's fully stocked with towels as well as complimentary toiletries. Last but not least, you have your walk-in rainfall shower. Ugh, the water feels so great. This picture on the wall in the shower is actually a sliding door that you can open so that you can have more light that comes through. And we just took a shower, got freshened up so that we can enjoy the rest of our evening. Our long day of travel and very festive evening we got some much needed rest and when we got up and dressed we headed on over to butch's island chop house for breakfast now this particular restaurant you do need reservations for dinner but all are welcome for breakfast and brunch for those of you who are wondering yes the food is absolutely delicious okay he had the french toast breakfast sandwich and i had the smoked salmon on avocado toast amongst a bunch of other things. Like, you're gonna see a lot of food in this vlog. We ordered the entire menu. Uh, the service could have used a little bit of work, but again, they're still working out yeah. the kinks, but at least everyone was very friendly. After breakfast, we decided to walk around so that our food could digest. And along the way, we were able to see that this resort has about six or seven pools. I don't know, I lost count. We decided, however, to hit up the main pool, which had a lot of music playing and it had a swim up bar. They were actually doing, you know, in the pool aerobics and yoga and all that great jazz. So it was a lot of fun. When I tell you everyone was having a blast, I mean it. And I will be doing you all a great disservice if I did not show you our new friends that we met. Meet Edwina and Chris. This man had his cane in the pool, having the time of his life. When I tell you he was the life of the party, <laughs> he was giving main character energy, okay? The resort has a total of 11 restaurants in total so that you can choose from, three of them being the food trucks. Listen, food truck food hits like none other. It was absolutely delicious. I know I keep saying absolutely, but I don't know. It, it was absolutely delicious. What can I say? Now, in addition to the food, the resort does offer excursions like boat rides and things like that, as well as a lot of fun games here on site. So here we are in the room in the dark because the power is out. Apparently it's out on the whole entire resort. So yeah, here we are taking showers in the dark. Um, I'm assuming it's because this is still a new establishment and they're still trying to figure things out. But I guess we got to just, you know, turn lemons into lemonade. We actually have dinner reservations soon. So I don't know if we're going to be able to eat, but I hope they figure it out because they were giving away free food while we were walking to the room. Um... Yeah, I guess we'll just have to see how things go. 
girl relax <laughs> we made it to our dinner reservation apparently the power is out on the entire island so i guess that's not something we can fault sandals for and as you can see we're back at butch's for dinner I love me some Caesar salad, okay? So for my appetizer, I decided to get the Caesar salad and shrimp. He had the crab cake. And for our main courses, he decided to get the lamb chops, as you can see right here, with a side of truffle fries. I had a side of mashed potatoes, and we also had Brussels sprouts. And I also had the surf and turf, which is the steak and lobster. So by now, I'm pretty sure everyone knows my M.O. <laughs> Where's the food? <laughs> when we got up, we got dressed, and we headed on over to Alos, I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, so that we could have brunch. It was so beautiful, quaint and quiet. I love the aesthetic. Everything was just so nice. Like, I love the greenery. I love the palm trees. Those are my favorite plants. So we were able to have, you know, a very scenic view while we were enjoying our breakfast. We could tell that the, you know, chefs and everyone were working very hard in the kitchen to prepare our meal. And as you can see, that's them right there. As you can see, we just couldn't get it right. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have the open plate on the please. I'm also gonna have the pancake. May I please have the crunch banana fresh And also can I have cured ham yeah you guessed it <laughs> the food was delicious <laughs> and here i am just getting my content in from instagram because you know you gotta get her content in <laughs> well, who would i be if i didn't get my content After breakfast, we did a little lounging. They do have bikes available if you want to get around the resort quicker. You can rent a bike at no extra charge. We did some sightseeing as well, smelled the pretty flowers, looked at the beautiful skies. They do also have a um, nice golf course here. So if that's something that you're interested in, be sure to check out the golf club um, or golf course rather. Um, and then after looking around, we decided just to chill at one of the more private secluded pools that they have on the other side of the resort. Finally, we decided, you know what, let's get off of this resort. We want to take a look around town and be amongst the culture of Curacao. So we took a taxi. Now, one tip that I will give you is it's better to travel with multiple people. So the price for two people in a taxi is actually, I believe they said $40 per person um, one way. Now, if you decide to be in the taxi with four or more people, that price actually decreases to $11 per person. So be sure to keep that in mind when getting around. So we went ahead, took about a 20 minute drive to the capital, which is Williamstead.
this city is filled with beautiful, vibrant colors from the artwork to the buildings themselves. And at the entrance of the bridge, there is a sculpture that you can attach your little locks, you and your significant other. And it's just so wonderful. Here we are right now crossing the bridge. And the amazing part about it is that it was constructed to open horizontally whenever boats and ferries pass. sunscreen because the sun is hot okay about three hours in that hot sun we were ready to head back to the resort and change into our swimsuits and when we got back to our pleasant surprise there was a phone party going on we hopped in and joined the fun We changed clothes because I had to get my content in again. You know me by this point. And um, after that, we decided to change again and get settled so that we could head to dinner. Now, like I mentioned before, two restaurants require reservations. So be sure that's one of the first things that you do when you touch down. The restaurant that we had dinner at this evening was called The Vincent. Hello. The restaurant was super chic. I loved it and we were very happy to see one of our favorite servers there Nigel he took great care of us every time almost every time we went to dinner they kind of rotated throughout the restaurant so we were happy to see that he was our server again this evening Hi, hello, hello good how are you So for some of our appetizers, we decided to try out new things. We had the escargot that's right here. We also had the caviar, which is it wasn't real caviar. <laughs> Don't get too excited. And then we had the crab salad that was mm, delish. Entree, we had the roasted duck, which was mwah. We also had the fish and shrimp, as well as the filet mignon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So by the time we finished our main courses, we were absolutely stuffed, but we ordered dessert anyway, because hey, why not? It's free. And we wanted to try it out to let you all know if it was good or not. And um, yeah, it was okay. I'm not that big of a fan of dark chocolate, but it was okay nevertheless. And in the spirit of trying things out, just so I can give you all feedback, we decided to head over to get some sushi too. Now don't do this at home because that's gluttony, okay? Don't do that. But the sushi was mwah, delicious and we had the most fantastic service. We had this waitress here, this beautiful local resident of Curacao and she told us all about her experiences yes, and yes, um, she was an absolute right. joy. <laughs> yes, okay? Yes. This is the good lighting. This is the good lighting right here. Yep, right here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so enough of the food because I know y'all probably tired of that. We realized that there was actually a 4th of July show going on after dinner, so we headed on over. Ah! Fun, 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 fun. We danced the night away.
time last night. Boy, we had a time last night. <laughs> we didn't want our vacation to end, but we had to get up the next day and head on out. Why must vacations end? All right, with love, family. Thank you guys for coming on vacation with us. We're out. Oh, I don't want to leave. <laughs> I don't want to go. Oh, man. I love you. I really do. Nothing wrong with you. It's so fun. Even when we argue, you're so fun. <laughs> it's hilarious. Last night, you were so mad, baby, that I didn't beat the woman up that got me with the girlfriend. <laughs> You were so mad! <laughs> because where were you? Uh, I had your drinks waiting on you. <laughs> where were you? Where I, were look, you? Look, look, I was on the balcony this time. Look, you. look, I was on the balcony this time and you wouldn't. <laughs> you was at the bar and I was on the balcony on the last night. See? You see you, you see the difference? You were looking for me and you know where I was. <laughs> I was right there. <laughs> Well, I see how it's so easy to get lost now. <laughs> so before we hopped on our plane, of course, we had to eat one more time. We decided to go to the Strand Seafood House for brunch where I had the Caesar shrimp wrap and he had the jerk chicken. Here's just the final picture we took before leaving with one of the entertainers. When he saw me, he was like, hey, aren't you Beyonce? Because of the night before. Very embarrassing. <laughs> All right, my love. So we made it to the end of our journey. I really don't want to go. Mm. Gotta but, go back. It sucks. But we had a great time. I appreciate you all so much for tuning in. Let us know where you would like for us to travel to next. Leave it down in the comment section below um, so that we can do a, a new review. And you can come with us. Exactly. So thank you again so much for your love and support. Mwah, 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 mwah. See you on the next video. Deuces.